It was a big day in space. SpaceX launching its Starship spacecraft into orbit, while Boeing's new Starliner, Starliner capsule sent two astronauts to the International Space Station. Let's bring in the CBC senior science reporter Nicole Morillero to guide us through it all. So, Nicole, let's start with the SpaceX Starship. What happened? Well, it was a perfect launch, well, near perfect, I will say, uh, of the 33 engines on this 37-story rocket, 32 actually long, uh, lit. And so it was looking really good. Um, in the past, the rockets have, you know, unfortunately launched, begun to launch and it, it exploded. And, and so we didn't see any of that this time. Um, it launched and it was amazing, perfect. Uh, everything functioned pretty much as normal. And then um, what happens in these launches is there are two stages. There's a, a, an upper stage, which is, the whole rocket is called Starship, but the upper stage is also referred to as Starship. And then the second stage, um, separates and lands. And this is what you're seeing here on your screen. It actually made it down through the clouds and a soft, what we call a, a soft ocean landing. Uh, it's not going to be recovered or anything like that. But then, then we saw actually Starship launch, uh, you know, going and uh, making its way through. The fin burned up. It was amazing. It still made it. And this was everything I think that SpaceX had hope, hoped it would be. It certainly looks that way because they were all like high-fiving each other, <laughs> clapping, so it looked, it looked successful. Now, two astronauts made it on board the International Space Station as well today, but you know, it, was, it wasn't perfect. There, was, there were some issues um, and you were a little concerned uh, at one point today, right? Absolutely. So um, Starliner, this is Boeing's new uh, spaceship, this uh, capsule that is taking astronauts to uh, the International Space Station. They are far behind schedule. SpaceX has been doing the same thing since 2020. Uh, Boeing has been faced with setbacks, cost overruns. Well, they had to, they tried to launch three times, well, twice, and uh, they had discovered problems. One of them was a helium leak. And that helium leak, um, they launched with it anyway, said it wasn't going to be a problem, that they had, you know, many more thrusters. These are helium that uh, looks at, um, uh, it's for the thrusters when they're slowly docking and, and when they're deorbiting. And they discovered two more. And so this was a bit of a problem. They delayed their docking with the International Space Station. But they finally did do it. Um, but there is overall concern as to why these leaks sprung, why NASA and Boeing actually decided to launch with these leaks. Okay, good questions, Nicole. Thank you. CBC senior science reporter, Nicole Mortolero.